So what is your quit number? How many no's do you have to hear until you decide to just call this quits and give up on yourself and on your home business? Do you have to hear five no's, 10, 100, 1,000? One thing that years and years of doing this business has showed me is that every quitter has a quit number. So knowing that, if you have a quit number, then I want you to, in fact, I highly, highly encourage you to go deep into your brain the place where you have your why. Why are you doing this? Does it excite you? Are you excited about why you're doing this? Do you want to be financially free, independent? Do you want to have to depend on the government or a boss or a paycheck the rest of your life? Do you want to be independent? I mean, what's that all mean for you? Why is that so important to you? Does it excite you? I hope so. How much does it excite you? How important is it to you? Because let me tell you the battle that's going on in your brain if you have a quit number. What's happening is you're weighing if your personal why is even more important than the no's, the setbacks, the struggles, the challenges and so on. The wrenches that life throws at you and, and puts in your way. Life isn't going to stop and suddenly become easy just so that you can be successful. That's not what's going to do it. So. If your why excites you enough and is important enough to you and more important than any setback or any amount of no's or any of that stuff, you'll win. You will toss your quit number in the trash where it belongs. But if all it takes is a certain number of no's, if all it takes is a big enough challenge, a setback, a big enough problem, a big enough wrench, if that's all it takes and that's more important to you than your why, then you're gonna quit. You'll hang on to that stupid quit number and you'll eventually quit. So I want you to go back to your why. I mean, if you're doing this correctly and you're here to serve other people as you help yourself, you're asking them for their why. Ask yourself for yours. And let me tell you something about things that emote from you. If you have a quit number, it's emoting from you. Every person you talk to, they see it. They're not gonna wanna join you because they're gonna think that you're probably just going to abandon them as time goes on. So you can't have a quit number. Everyone knows it. <laughs> it. It emotes from you. You cannot help it. You can't hide it. You can't put on an act and a good face. It'll emote from you. People will pick up on it and they won't want to join you. So get rid of the quit number. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna cause your business to fail permanently unless you get rid of that God blessed quit number. And also, I want you to think about this. If you're in this business truly to help people as you help yourself, then this business, being a home business owner, it's not a home business owner thing. This is a reflection of life itself. This is why there's some people that can actually thrive in any economy, whether it's going up, down, or sideways. Most people only know how to do okay if the economy is going up, which makes most people extremely vulnerable because it means they're not gonna do okay when the economy is going down or sideways. There, about 49 out of every 50 people by the, before they're 65 years old end up either dead or dead broke and lifestyle diseased and they have to depend on the government, friends and family as the main source of their income. Be the one out of 50, don't be the 49. What that means is that to be average today means that you're broke, you're poor and you're diseased. Average 50 years ago meant that you were probably doing okay. Today, you're not doing okay if you're average. So dig into your brain, and rediscover your why, get excited about it and get rid of your quit number and make this work. It'll emote from you, you're gonna have more success. Opportunities are gonna open up that have really always been there, but now they just seem to appear because you got rid of that stupid quit number and you just made the judgment that your why is more important than any setback or challenge or any amount of no's that anybody can ever possibly give you. That's what I want you to do. And then I want you to make, from here on out, draw a line in the sand today and make it count for real from here on out.